If you have heard of Pierre Armand's wax mannequins, then you must be fascinated by the mesmerizing and lifelike figures that were designed to be as realistic as possible. These mannequins were not just inanimate objects, but they had names like Roberta, Elaine, and Nadine, and were often set in fashionable tableaus, reflecting the diversity of body shapes of women in that era. These mannequins were not the typical idealized female figures we see today, but rather had flat chests, wide hips, and middle-aged faces, reflecting a more realistic portrayal of the female body. The work of Pierre Amans takes us back to a time when the perception of the ideal female body was very different from what it is today. These wax mannequins were not just creations of art, but they were a reflection of the society and its values at that time. While today we have a greater emphasis on body positivity and inclusivity, back then, the standard of beauty was very different. These mannequins remind us of the evolution of beauty standards and how they have changed over time. Iman's work was not limited to just fashion display. In 1925, his company produced a lifelike wax covering for the hands and face of Saint Bernadette of Lourdes, showcasing the versatility and craftsmanship of his creations. This historical context provides a deeper understanding of the significance of these wax mannequins and the impact they had on the society of that time. The most exciting part is still ahead, so let's immerse ourselves in the images and reminisce about that era. Let's take a journey through these old photographs and savor the history they represent. As we explore these images, we gain a deeper appreciation for the artistry, craftsmanship, and historical context of Pierre Amand's wax mannequins, and the era in which they existed.